Well, hello there. Out for another evening hike after work. And uh, given the uh, rather urbanized and tame nature of yesterday's trail, I wanted to get out and do something a little bit more natural, a little bit more unregulated. But uh, obviously with an evening time frame, can't uh, get too far. So I'm back up at the Red Top Mountain State Park area doing the Iron Hill Trail. So we'll get around four miles in tonight. Uh, we'll see how crowded things are, but uh, just gonna enjoy a nice walk in the woods, uh, some time by the lakeshore, and uh, see what uh, trail holds for us tonight. A few uh, friendly visitors here along the trail. and I will leave them to their dinner. Well, the hike out here so far has been uh, rather pleasant. Uh, it's been a warm week. Temperatures have been getting up in the mid 80s, but uh, it's, uh, it's actually cool and comfortable out here tonight, so. Oh, I'm feeling quite quite nice about it. Uh, not been a whole lot of traffic past a couple of people, but uh, for the most part, I've had the trail to myself, seen a bit of wildlife. Uh, the deer you saw earlier, I actually saw that same group again as I circled back from the uh, little loop I was on, and they had crossed over to the far side, so I got to say hi to them once more not sure how well they enjoyed it but i always like seeing the wildlife the lake is very calm today it's very peaceful and smooth surface just a few ripples here and there from the light breeze but all in all glad i came out here tonight yeah little furry friend there seems to have gathered himself a flower guess he has a hot Friday date anyway I'm continue on following the lake shore on this uh, first half of the hike before it uh, circles back towards the uh, trailhead area so There are a few people I've seen out on the lake in small watercraft, uh, kayaks, canoes, and such. But uh, again, it's been a quiet night and I'm enjoying it. I'm going to enjoy that quiet some more while I keep on hiking and I will catch up with you all further down the trail. Well, I took a little side spur out onto a spit of land that extends out into the lake. so much clearer view of the lake as you can see behind me. Also noticing that uh, 
the light breeze is starting to pick up just a little bit. And I know we've got weather moving in this evening, so it uh, seems like the change is starting to turn. And, uh, you know, I, I'm in no concern that I'll be stuck out here in the rain. It's not due to hit for a couple more hours, but uh, no need to be lollygagging because who knows to what degree the change will accelerate as the uh, the incipient weather gets closer. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be able to see it, but uh, a couple of herons just uh, flew by, uh, blue herons I think they were. Um, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get a shot of them, but uh, again, I always love to see the wildlife out here. Well, getting close to the point where I will be peeling away from the uh, lake shore. I've been falling along for it pretty much the entire length of the hike so far. It's been a peaceful end of my week, which I needed. It's been a busy week. Not quite as crazy as last, but still lots going on. And a quiet walk in the woods is just what I needed. But uh, starting to get hungry. And I know the wife is at home waiting for dinner as well, which I will be picking up on my way home. So I need to get this thing finished. I've probably got uh, less than a mile to go and uh, I'll be closing things out as I get closer to the trailhead but uh, you know, Just wanted to say thank you uh, I've been getting a significant increase in viewership on the videos lately I think there's been some sharing that has uh, contributed to that. So thank you for any and all who are spreading word of what I'm attempting here. But, you know, I'm not doing this for the viewership. I'm, I'm not doing it so that I can, you know, become a famous YouTube star. That's not by any way, shape or form my intent. But, you know, I'm proud of what I'm doing here. And uh, I like to share it. Like to, you know, as I've mentioned before, you know, I've been inspired by the videos that I've watched of others. And if I can pass that forward a little bit by inspiring anyone else, then whatever little bit I contribute to that effort is, uh, is all to the good. So I do this, I uh, tape as I can and I share it out. And uh, any who wish to you know, support by just watching whether you choose to like it or comment provide me any sort of feedback encouragement help me with my accountability of keeping on focus with this I'm appreciative you know I'm not doing it for those reasons but they are simply an added bonus to what I'm out here to accomplish well I'm almost back to the trailhead, so I'm going to close this out. Looks like uh, with the addition of some of the side trails that I took along the way today, I've been able to stretch this out to uh, somewhere between five and five and a half miles. So uh, a little bit extra from what I had thought I was going to get tonight. Uh, it helps me cut into the deficit a little bit, and I'm thankful for that. Anyway, 
not going to draw this out. Thank you again for coming along with me. It's been a good night, and I look forward to many more like it. But until then, we'll see you on the next trail. Well, hello there. Out for a Sunday afternoon hike after yesterday's uh, torrential downpours that pretty much had us, you know, socked in all day long. So, you know, even though I had a time available, the conditions were not conducive to getting out yesterday. So, I'm trying to do what I can to make up for it today. It's Easter Sunday, had a good day at church, and now off to get some miles in me. Anyway, I'm up at uh, the Bowling Park area doing the trace trail out to uh, Lorne Gap, I believe. So it's an out and back trail, so I'll be covering the same trails uh, twice, once in one direction and once back, and should get well, maybe somewhere around eight miles in. Uh, anxious to see what the trail conditions are going to be like. I'm anticipating things to be a little bit soft, a little bit uh, muddy in low areas, but uh, so far it hasn't been too bad. So it's a new trail for me. I've never been out here on this trail system. Last time I consistently came out to the Bowling Park area was, uh, oh, about uh, 19, 20 years ago when my son was playing soccer and he often had games up here but for now i'm going to enjoy the trail see what sights it has and we'll check in along the way so far this has been a nice trail you know rather natural in nature but with the convenience of uh, wooden bridge. This is, I think, the third one I've crossed. So, glad to see the, the Boy Scout troops have been out here uh, making things a little bit easier for us casual hikers. So, glad to see those amenities available. And, uh, you know, just hiking along the waterway here as we continue on down the trail. The trail runs uh, pretty close to the river here, as you can see, and with yesterday's uh, uh, voluminous rainfall, it is uh, definitely running heavy. Uh, good, fast current to it, and uh, high, uh, high volume. Looks like it's up the banks a little bit, but uh, you know, the river here is fortunately a fairly calm one, not much in the way of rapids, so. Uh, just makes for a nice pleasant uh, accompaniment as I often reference the waterways that I walk near. But I only say it when it's true. It usually is. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. Just thought I'd share this a little bit. Pulled away from the river a little bit. Looks like I've got a tributary here to uh, cross. At one time it looks like there may have been a bridge, but it is uh, long since gone so i think i've got to go just a little bit upstream here and across just before that small falls so we'll proceed forward and see how this works and shoes are going to get a little bit damp but hopefully it won't be too bad we'll see if, how slippery the rocks are yeah. Yeah, pretty slippery. But I'm across and continuing on. Well, 
so far this trail has been a nice little surprise uh, I'd seen a few comments and reviews of it but it didn't seem to get the extensive kind of coverage that a lot of the other local trails have but uh, yeah I'm only about a quarter way down the length and uh, you know there's interesting things like this large rock formation behind me you got the uh, the pleasant river flowing along you've got nice rustic trail narrow but uh, well maintained and uh, yeah I, I would give this one so far a good rating I know there's some areas up ahead where the uh, land's been cleared on uh, CCWSA I think that's the Cherokee County Water and Sewer Authority uh, where their uh, property butts up near where the uh, the trail runs that the land's been cleared and it could be a little tricky navigating to from one section of the trail to the other uh, I've heard all trails is not the most reliable there and to watch for some uh, marker stakes that are placed to help guide you so we'll see what uh, that entails when I get there I'll share as is appropriate but for now you know considering how yesterday was today is gorgeous you know like I said it's Easter and it is a wonderful day out here the Sun is bright the skies are clear the temperatures are moderate and the trail so far has been a delight Well, I seem to be coming up to that area I had referenced. Looks like there's definitely been some clearing take place here. As you can see, there's uh, many directions to choose from. Looks like there's a church and cemetery in that direction. And from what I understand, rather than trying to follow the, the trail marked by all trails, I should uh, follow pink trail markings, which if I look, I believe that might be one out in that direction. So I will head there. They do have a uh, trail map here marked. Put here by the uh, Boy Scout Troop 241, it looks like. Again, the, the uh, scouts look like they've been quite active along this trail system. and. I'm appreciative of all their efforts. But anyway, I'm gonna head off in this direction and see uh, see what lies before me. It does look like that is a pink marker, as I had thought. Let's hope that uh, the information I read up on is accurate. Anyway, we'll find out, and I'll catch up with y'all further down the trail. to an area that's even more open than that uh, last junction that I was at. It is uh, definitely a, a difference from what I was experiencing on the, uh, the first portion of this trail. So I'm going to take a minute here to orient myself and make sure I'm heading in the right direction out of here. You know, that's the obvious way, but obvious isn't always the right one. So. Let me figure that out and then we'll continue on. Well, continuing on, this section of the uh, trail is definitely different nature. It's much more open, obviously, away from the, uh, the river and the, uh, the embankments alongside it. And uh, as you can see, the woods are, you know, more spread out. The trails are crisscrossing along in this area. Looks like, uh, actually, as a head look back in that direction there, I don't know if you can see it, looks to be a little bit of a wetlands area, or at least for right now it is, after yesterday's rain. And given the direction this uh, stream I'm near is headed, it probably empties out into that, that flatland. So I'm continuing on here. I'm probably uh, right around a mile or so, maybe just a little less from the end of the trail where I will start doubling back hoping that uh, 
on the way back I can take some of the uh, side loops that uh, run along with this trail to uh, vary up my path a little so I'm not completely backtracking over previously trod areas but we'll see as we come to those on the way back anyway I'm continuing on and uh, we'll check in as we get close to the end Well, I've reached the end of the trail. As you can see the uh, stream running behind me here. Uh, the trail pretty much ends here. There is a continuation, um, as you can see behind me here. It's a little bit wider track, and my understanding is it, it's used for uh, more of a multi-purpose. I think uh, some ATV um, traffic hits there, and uh, along most of it, it can be uh, torn up, muddy mess, even in good weather conditions, and after yesterday's rain, I'm sure it'd be mostly impassable. But the, uh, the actual all trails um, layout that I was following does end here at this stream. Uh, got a chance to cross over a bridge to get to the far side, but I'll head back over now. I'm gonna head back. I'll probably mostly be following the uh, terrain I've already covered with maybe an occasional side loop if I can find a good one to take. So I don't know how much footage I will actually get uh, as I head back, but uh, we will see if there's anything that presents itself. Uh, I did have a question. Uh, I got some photos of it, but these trees, as you can see along here, very uh, interesting in how they grow. And I'm curious if anyone has a clue that they could tell me what type of tree it is, uh, because I don't know. And uh, they have sparked my interest. Find one of the little side loops, a little <clears throat> different route from what I had come along on the way outbound. And uh, yeah, you never know what kind of hidden gems you'll find along the way. This uh, micro waterfall here is uh, got the nice bridge over it for me to cross, and I will be doing that. But uh, yeah, I see uh, minnows or tadpoles, one or the other, swimming around in the pool at the base of the falls there but uh yeah nice little surprise and anyway i'm gonna continue on here across the bridge as i said and see what's on the other side give a little view upstream And then the view from above the falls. So, continuing on. Well, I'm getting close to the end of the trail, probably less than half a mile to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. It has uh, it's been a good trail. It's been a good hike today. I've enjoyed it. I know I haven't filmed that much on the way back, but uh, did get a few things that were uh, new to my perspective anyway, or new sights. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. Looks like I'm going to get around eight miles on this hike, as expected. So, good uh, effort towards cutting into some of my deficit right now. 
and I will take that. Had a most of the, uh, other than uh, a few people on the second half of the uh, way back, where I finally started to uh, have some people cross my way. I've been mostly on my own out here, which is always gives me time with my thoughts and time to think on things. And uh, it's been a good day for that. I've uh, been thinking about different uh, projects I've got going on, not necessarily at work, but at home. Little concepts that I've been thinking of, adding to those a little bit. Thinking about the, uh, the hiking I've been doing. One thing I did want to bring up today, I have, uh, as I've mentioned, been a big fan of watching a number of the hiking YouTube channels and every year for the last several I have generally followed uh, two to three people doing the uh, Appalachian Trail through hike attempts and uh, I've uh, I've had pretty good luck on who I've chosen uh, because you know every year up to now everyone I picked completed their through hike which you know it's not a high percentage of people who complete, so I guess I've just had good luck. But this year, of the three people I've been following, two of them are already off trail. One of them is out for the year. Another one is hoping to get back on a little bit later. They've got some bad plantar fasciitis that's developed. And, uh, you know, it, it's given me some things to think about. One thing I've noticed is uh, conditioning and, uh, you know, just general hiking experience has been a contributing factor. Not that they were necessarily novice hikers, but, you know, extensive amounts of continual hiking seem to be missing in their preparation. Which, you know, brings me back to what I'm doing here this year. As I mentioned early on, one of the things that I hope to get as a benefit of this is you know potential conditioning and preparation for if and when I'm ever able to get out and do a through hike so you know seeing uh, where lack of preparation or lack of conditioning has uh, been a factor in people not completing I'm hoping that uh, the efforts I'm taking now will uh, be put towards uh, improving my chances of not being one of those statistics of failing to complete a through hike if and when I do get the opportunity to attempt it. So that's going to be kind of my closing thoughts for the hike today. I'm going to wrap it up as I'm getting close to the end. And we, as always, thank you for coming along and we'll see you on the next trail.